Hello again, this is Magma WK, and yes, we are playing this game in purple. Why purple? Why not? And in our last picture, we went to a few towns and got new armor. So let's go ahead and equip this new armor here, the diamond armor. Now along the way, I said we had three different choices of where to go next, including the Cave of Summons, the Syphilid Cave, and the sealed cave where Golbez is hiding. I mean, I didn't spoil anything. Golbez is not hiding there because he can't get to it. Hmm, what a way to start out your videos, Magma. Anyway, let's go ahead and just equip everybody real quick and show you here. As there's controversy, do arrows go on the right hand or the left hand? Well, let's solve that controversy right now. Now let's put a bow in her right hand and show you that. It's 23 attack, but what happens if you put the bow in the left hand and the arrows in the right? Yes! Makes sense. And okay, continuing on here, let's go ahead and equip the rest of our folks here. Friday got herself a new chain whip. Yes, double the hurt. Ah, and of course, a gold ring. This is not marriage or anything, trust me. Besides that, I'd probably die. Anyway, now that we got everybody equipped, let's go up in our new airship, the Falcon. Which, as you remember, we stole from the Tower of Babel. Shame on us. Our edge did, anyway. So there it is, the sealed cave, our main objective. Or, we can go to the Cave of Summons, or we can go up to the cave up here, the uh, Sylph Cave. Now, Sylph Cave is the easiest, however, we cannot uh, progress 100% uh, in there. There's a, a slight problem, which we don't have the correct item or access for right now. Cave of Summons is probably the hardest one to do, but... As you would figure, if Radio was taken to land the summons, which it leads to, she can gain a whole bunch of great new powers. And of course, the sealed cave, which we, in our previous venture, had gotten the key for, is a pretty good challenge, but I'm going to do the cave of summons just because I'm that hardcore. And if we can survive, by golly, then Magma WK is a hero. Is he making a quick memo? Yes, this is the PlayStation 1 version. You can make memos, which is a temporary save. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Let's go in. And along the way, we'll find a whole bunch of fabulous prizes. But there is a problem to this. You see those red glowing things down there, those can hurt us. Smart idea, Rydia. And as you see, that took off a nice 50 hit points of damage for everybody. So how do we avoid this? Why we use the spell which I do not have currently. Float, which is a white magic. Which I do not have right now. It's so, alright, I can recover with Cecil's magic. Because I am that suicidal. Anyway. We will, of course, meet conjurers in here. So let us fight for our right to party. And as you see, quite powerful. We'll fight every enemy at least once. I guarantee you that, or your money back. Also, Rosa has Cure 3, which will make things a lot easier for us. Maybe not so much for Edge, but that's alright. Because as you figure, blindness will not affect the power of your summon. And it's better to defeat the Conjurer first, or they summon more. 
but you do get their experience recorded for each one you defeat. So if you are feeling daring, you can have them keep summoning monsters, which then you can go and pwn. Anyway, let us continue. And why do we continue? Because Edge is a ninja. There we go. Simple enough, not extremely hard. But a good fight nonetheless that will quickly raise our level. And as you figure, blindness will continue its effect until we hit it with a Asuna. Or we can hit it with eye drops. Considering we haven't used any eye drops this adventure, let's go ahead and use those. Get those out of the way there. And as always, did you stock up on high potions? Regular potions just won't do the job anymore. That's alright. Because in this treasure chest, we find a life. An obvious passage is obvious. And that's why we have Cecil here. Because once we get to Lena's summons, it will become obvious why I went there first. Now the ethers, on the other hand, are just delicious. You know you love ethers. I asked you one time, what does a potion taste like? And I give you a somewhat good answer. But an ether? It must be a calming drink, kind of like tea or something like that. It's warriors and fiends. This feels like it's my life story, fighting warriors and fiends. Those look more like imps than fiends. Or devils. So let's get a little help here. Because after all, this is the Cave of Summons. And we are so totally going to get wiped out. And that's even worse. I think people have just been waiting to see me get wiped out. Has not happened yet, and I have not cut it yet. And I think we're lacking a little bit on power. So honestly, I am going to skip this Cave of Subbins. Well, that was pointless. Thank you, Rosa, for hitting the wrong enemy. Because you were charmed. And I believe this will be game over if I don't run right now. I'm just tempting fate here, folks. If you don't tempt fate once in a while, then you haven't lived. Probably should have scanned them to see their weaknesses. And they have quite a bit of hit points, oh my. Now you see why I ran. Now we can run through everything and get to the land of summons. But if I can't take on the regular enemies, why should they even bother to take on the bosses? And of course, bosses being summons, you would figure they would be real hard. I'm not spoiling anything. This is how you get summons. By killing them. It's kind of like Pokemon. Yes, I have used that reference already. And that, folks, is what you call a failed expedition. So, fortunately, we can go back to the Dwarven, our main Dwarven castle. Go to the cave that was behind it, and use that, uh, water of life, water pot, whatever, to restore ourselves for free. Simple enough. And we'll be right back, and we'll try the cave of sylphs. Maybe that will be easier.
I think you have to go there once anyway before you go there a second time. Be back soon.